Hello everyone, it is Az here and I have been joined by Freddy. Thank hi, hi, Az, hi. Thank you so much for giving me your time. We've actually pulled Freddy away from demoing an incredibly busy Majesty for the Realm stand. This stand is so incredibly busy, we're actually having to play with a German version of the game. There is English versions here as well, but I was so desperate to show everybody watching at home just how cool this game is that I've asked Freddy to come and give us a little demo. So he's going to tell us a little bit about the game and then we're going to play through a few turns just so you can get a feel for what to expect if you pick this up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you want to open? A, go away. Uh, go ahead, Freddy. Yeah, that is Majesty for the Realm. Um, it's a um, family game for two to four players, and I think at the age of um, seven uh, would be great for families. Yeah, in Majesty we try to get as much as money we can, um, and. The winner is the player uh, which the most money at the end. Yeah, uh, it's not not very noble, not very not very king like taking all the money, <laughs> taking all the money and the, <laughs> we need it for the crown. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so, would you like to start and show what a turn looks like? Yeah, uh, we play twelve turns, so we have um, twelve. Um, um, 12 rounds mm -hmm. and each round we can buy one of these characters mm -hmm. um, the first character is for free and for the other characters we have to pay with our meeples I'm sure everybody at home knows what a meeple is but you get them on a very nifty little card which essentially do these cards represent each of the different factions or are these just very no, pretty just, 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 just your little kingdom um, um, yeah, uh, you have to pay for the card. So the first one is for free. If I want the third card, I have to pay for the first and the second card and take this card. I take this card and um, the card's going um, down to one of the buildings. But we have to... Hmm. Uh, we have to take a decision which one we want. So, in this case, this would be either the brewery or the mill. Is that right? Yeah, right. So I take the the mill the, and comes down. So I'll show you everyone at home. This is we, we all start with the same buildings. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. right. We have the same buildings mm. with the same actions. So, we, so you essentially making a decision to assign that worker to your mill, and what does that then do? Yeah, then we get points for each uh, banner we have down under the mill. Oh, okay. So I get two points now, so I take two points and those points are for me. Lovely, okay. And that's my turn. Wow, just that simple. That's very simple okay. and that's easy and you get points every round. Okay. So, now we set up the next turn for you. We put the cards up there and there's a new card. Okay. So now it's your turn, get one of these cards. Okay. So now I assume that if I was to choose this card for free, I would get your meeple, but I currently have no spaces. Yeah, then you can have a maximum of five meeples. So you have one more, then you have to give it back to the, the, the reserve, middle. Yeah, 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 the reserve. And you get one point for each meeple you have over oh. the maximum. Oh, oh, you can actually get points for trading meeples in? Right. Okay. Um, all right, well, I think I'm going to maybe, since uh, Freddy is going down the milling route, I'm maybe going to go down the uh, aggression route a little bit, I think. I think what I'll do then is I will pay one meeple to here. Um, no, actually, do you know what? Let's just, I'm going to go and take the barracks. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to place it in my barracks. Yeah. I put this meatball into the reserve. You get one point. Ah, lovely. And I love it. I love that it's bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and then what looks like essentially the crown sword or the, yeah, look, there's another one. The crown jewels represent the really majestic looking uh, top level pieces. That's awesome. So I'll get one coin for that. Lovely. And then I trigger the effect. Yeah, and then you trigger the effect. And the effect is um, at the barracks are first one, that's an attack. The okay. soldier you've chosen, he will attack each other player in the game. Wow. Yeah. So everyone who can't defend with a guard yeah, uh, get attacked 
and have to take one of his characters on the left side and put it down here. Oh, in the infirmary? Yeah. Okay. So, because what, what we've seen, actually, I apologize as I said this is in German, but we've got the mill, the brewery, we've got the, what is essentially the witch's cottage, we've got the guard tower, we've got the barracks, we've also got the tavern, the castle, and at the end you've got the infirmary. So I assume that this is going to be minus points? Yeah. At the end of the game, you get minus points for each card down here. And uh, there are two ants going. I will wow. take a lot later. And do I do anything on this card? I notice it's got the banner yeah. and then the number three. Does anything? Yeah. You get three points for your um, for banner. you. Yeah, for one banner. So if you have two there, you get six points. Yeah. And does that happen now? Yeah, that happened now. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So I will. Two points. Oh. So now we have only five cards. Yeah. So we. On there and get a new card. And that passes back to you. And now it's my turn. So I will take, you are playing the aggression way, so I will take a guard. Okay. So I take the guards. Going down under my guard house. Now the on, watchtower. on the watchtower, on, um, it shows there's three different icons actually. I'll show this right. just to the guys at home. Um, you have the watchtower symbol, the uh, barrack symbol, and also then the tavern symbol. Yes. And so does that count across your entire tableau? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I would get points for each banner under my watchtower, under my barracks, and under my. Um, wow, barracks. okay. So, but I have only one there. So I get only the two points. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I take my two points, but now I'm safe for the first time. Okay, so that's, well, it's, it's nice seeing that you're not, you're not being penalized for being defensive. You're actually, you're given a sort of mo new tactical options for guarding. That's nice. Yeah. Um, now it's back to me. Yep. Um, oh, okay, um, I'm going to, I'd like to see what the castle does. So I'm going to pay one meeple onto the first card, and then I'd like to take the castle card. And what effect is that going to so, have? That effect is you get for each noble down under the castle, you get five points and one meeple from the middle. Oh, so, tasty. Now you have five points, yeah. Okay, so I'll That's get... That's a lot. I'll take five. And then and a meeple? you get one meeple. So you spend one meeple for it mm -hmm. and get one meeple back. Fantastic. So it's a very good... But now I've left three meeples on the brewery, or on the, on the uh, tavern, sorry. Okay. Oh, some aggressive cards coming up. So, now it's my turn. Hmm. I have to, to do something. Yeah, I will do it now, of course. I need meeples, of course, I'm running out of meeples there. I take the first card, it's free for me. So, three meeples back to my card. Mm -hmm. And this, this one. So show the, the tavern card. Now, yeah. it, it actually has two effects, but I assume one of them is for right. when you have more players? Right. No, it's, um, for the, the, the first action is you get four points for each card okay. down on the tavern. So I get four points now. And then each player mm -hmm. who has a minimum of one brewer mm -hmm. get three points. So oh. if I had a brewer too, I get three points. So basically, you're buying for your tavern, and if anyone has been providing you with eel, right. they then get a benefit. Right. And I can you yeah. had one, yeah. you get three points now too. I see. So, and we can see this, actually that works with the brewery as well, right. because the brewery actually uses the wheat to make the eel, right. so you're benefiting there. Wow, that's, that's interesting. Correct. Okay. That's correct. So we need to replenish? So, yeah. And did you get your gold, yeah? Uh, yeah. I get my gold. Keep us right. Keep us right at home. <laughs> yeah. So. Ah, the card is showing up. No, this is interesting. Is there actually a second level of right. card? Right. There are two different uh, cards. Shall we? Shall we wait and see? Shall we? No. It's no. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So we have um, two different decks. Mm -hmm. First, we play a few cards from the first deck, and later they are showing the second deck. And the second deck are more higher cards okay. in there, and more cards where you can uh, choose a character. 
Okay, I, 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 I want to see this. So I'm going to quickly take another turn because I want to see what's going to come up. So, yeah. um, so it's your turn now. I, I got three cards. Yeah, I got some tricky decisions. I'm, I would like to learn what the, uh, the cottage, the witch does. So I'm going to go ahead and put one meatball here, one meatball here, and I will take this. Again, it's one of these half and half cards where you can choose either the guard tower or the cottage. I'm going to choose the cottage in this case. I'm going to grab her over. So this one, it, similarly, I imagine to the guard tower, I'm going to get two for each one of these symbols that I yeah, have. That's right. Um, so well, again, it's rewarding people who are combining certain types of buildings. Right. Uh, so for me, I've just got one symbol. I've got no brewery. Uh, you got no uh, brewery, no brewery. No melee, no. So, so just two gold. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, now we get one of the exciting new, one of these new cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's, a, it's a, the same persons, yeah, yeah. but uh, more yeah. aggressive cards, more um, um, different combinations. Uh, yeah. Different sort of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. For the card counters out there, that'll be right, right up your street, I imagine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I will. You got your points. Yeah. I will take a turn, and now I show you the special thing of the witch. Oh, okay. Of course, yeah. you can't do it, so I will show it um, on my. Uh -oh. I will pay one, two, three, four for this witch. It's okay. very expensive. Yeah. yeah. It's very expensive, but I have a special action now. And what, why, why is there a special action? What's, what triggered yeah. that? We learned the soldier attacks the, the other players. Yeah. And I have now a wounded person yeah. in, my, in my deck. So the witch heals the top card oh okay i can get now uh, i get back now my card place it oh. under one of my buildings and would you be able to choose which yeah. one? Oh. And now i'm now able to choose another or the same yeah but i take the same yeah um and does that mean you get two for the witch and two for the right yeah. so first i heal my cards right. And then I score my cards. Oh, now I don't feel so good about going aggressive. So now I get my. And what about four the, the, the mill? Does it trigger as well? No. no. Okay. okay. The cards are only triggered when I buy uh, one of the characters out of the middle. Fantastic. And so we, we basically play this way for 12 rounds? Yep. In total, and is, is it always 12, no matter how many people it, you play with? It's always 12 rounds, so if you have by 12 of the characters, the game ends. Okay. Um, and whoever has the most gold at that point gets the majesty for the realm? Nope. Oh. Uh, we have two special scorings at the end of the game. Okay, yeah, hit so me. So these uh, scorings are very... Um, um, is very it's important. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. Yeah, that's the symbols down there. Because on the bottom of the cards, there are what I assume to be like collections of sets. So you're trying yeah. to, to match these. So if you have a look right down there, Ben, you can see there's a, a gold value that you're going to get. And also then the, the icons, the, 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 uh, the flags, the banners that you need. Yeah. yeah? It's, it's not the banners you need, but if you, um, as more banners you have, mm -hmm. more points you get. Oh. So if you have um, every um, building, characters in every building, you get 49 points, so seven. Wow. Yeah. To uh, and seven, so you get 90, uh, 49 points. If you have only five, you get 25 points. Okay. Okay. So so spreading out is yeah. is very good for the yeah. end, but might not give you as much reward early because early, if you have lots of attacks or or lots of uh, the royalty, you get more fast, but less right. at the end. Right. And th that's the first scoring at the end. The second scoring is if you have more, uh, the, the person who have the most mills get 10 points. Okay. The person who have the most brewer. Oh, has I see. Points, and so on. Okay. So, yeah, so the, these represent who has the most banners, but then you also have the 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 5, 25, as well as that. Wow. So it's actually got a deeper level of strategy than it first appears. Right. And oh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Is that pretty much the game then? Uh, have we missed anything? Yeah, uh, we, we missed only the thing with the... Ah, no, I explained the guards. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the guards um, save the, the round. And yeah, if you have more attackers than the defenders have um, guards, yeah. the attack 
get through, get through guards to defend yeah. and have enough. Right. Perfect. Well, um, at the end, yeah, every card you have in the end there, you get one minus point. And That's about it. Yeah. Well, That's it. Nice. Oh, thank you very much, Freddy. I, I'm not going to lie, from, from the moment that I first saw this, the art was just beautiful, it was eye-catching, it was something that just made me super excited. To actually sit and see how simple it is, but the extra levels of depth, I'm very excited about. Especially, I didn't realize these varieties in the, the split cards. That's a really nice way of denying your opponent. So I don't want you to pay aggressive, I'm going to have a miller and stop you getting an aggressive card without you having to necessarily play on the barracks, which is really nice as well. So yeah, so we hope you enjoyed that little run through your home. Whether you're watching on Board Game Geek or on YouTube or on BeastOfWar.com, we'll have live blogs running on the Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday on BeastOfWar.com. You can come see all of our pictures, all of our demos, come and meet lovely people like Freddy, and we'll catch you in an update soon.